Hey, what's going on guys? Just checking in after my fight, let you guys know that I am all good. I'm just recovering, chilling with family. So my legs are pretty swollen. My bowls and my grunt are actually a little swollen, which is a little weird, that's the first. For the most part, I'm, I'm all good. Just a little disappointed the fight didn't go the way I wanted. I think uh, the two and a half year layoff, you know, there was actually five surgeries, including a shoulder surgery in there. Infections, everything I've been through, there was definitely some ring rust going in there. First round, I think I was more hesitant than I thought I would be. Definitely was a little bit more more hesitant and throw my leg kicks. I didn't think that was gonna be the case. I was just kind of getting my range and getting a feel of being back in there again. And then next thing I know it, even in that first round, my leg got pretty compromised. Pretty quickly, I found myself fighting Southpaw and trying to track him down. He stayed consistent with the leg kicks. It was a tough fight. I think I did good though. I definitely showed toughness walking through those, those leg kicks after everything I've been through. I continuing to track him down. He did a great job. I just want to thank some people because it's been two and a half years since I've been back in there and there's been tons of people who've kind of helped me uh, get back in there. But number one, my family. Without them, you know, I wouldn't have been able to make that walk again. Like I said before, five surgeries and infections and everything I've been through, they've been by my side the whole time. And I just can't thank them enough. My wife just being holding down the fort the whole time, continue to be supportive and have my back and being an amazing mom and wife, it's a blessing. Fight week wise to have my kids older was super cool. You know, I had my 11 year old CJ, you know, feeding me ice during my weight cut. I had my daughter being my cuddling buddy during fight day and the day before when nerves are hitting. My little guy Colton just being a spark plug and out of his mind and keeping things light. Just everybody had, you know, had played their part and it was, it's, it's pretty cool for them to experience and also me. My parents, all, all my family members that flew out, just, you know, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My coaches, I'm out here in South Carolina, but I train at a gym called uh, Jim Mo. These last two and a half years, a guy named Jeff Jimmo has opened up his gym to me made sure I got great training, great training partners, and he has gone out of his way, not asking for anything from me, to help me prepare. I just wanna really thank him. He's an unsung hero and super, been super helpful. So thank you, Jeff. I got Tom Lane, he's been my, uh, he's an up and coming fighter. He's three and pro right now. He's having trouble getting fights. So any middleweights out there that wanna fight, he's ready. But he has been super selfless and, and helpful during this time off just anything I need. Coming out to my house, training with me any time of day, you know, messing up his own workouts to come work out with me. I really, really appreciate that. And I make fun of him a whole bunch. I just bust his balls and, and he takes it pretty good. So thank you, Tom. Also want to thank Ray Longo. I wouldn't have been able to accomplish what I've accomplished in this sport without him. He's been huge for me. Um, for him to show up fight week, uh, especially when he's going through so much pain right now, he's got a hip replacement surgery this week. So he fought through a pain limping around, be there for me and support me and help me the best he can. I really appreciate it. Matt Serra, you know, one of the big reasons I'm even in this sport and felt like I could become a world champion is because a guy like Matt Serra was the first to get it done as a Long Island guy and become a world champion. And he's always been a mentor to me. Anything I need, he's always there for me. Great energy, great great advice in between rounds as well. He was awesome. My Sarah Longo team, Al Jermaine, to be on the same card with you was freaking awesome. It was really cool. It didn't work out for us as far as getting our wins, but it was a blessing to just be able to be on the same card as you. We share tons of experiences, weight cutting together, just prepping together. It's really cool stuff, great memories. Ally Quinta being there was awesome. Marab, Bazooka. I left Long Island over two years ago. I've been back, but Every time I go back and every time I'm around these guys, it's like I've never left. These guys are family for life. I can't say enough about my Sarah Longo fight team. They're just awesome people and love them to death. Thank my management team, Vayner Sports, Gary Vaynerchuk, AJ Vaynerchuk, Lloyd Pearson, Sarah Zemanik. They've been super instrumental with the time off, just getting me sponsors and, and being supportive with me the whole time. Thank you very much. My sponsors, especially Monster Energy, having my back while I'm not fighting. Not many sponsors would do that. So thank you so much, Monster Energy, Hans Mollenkamp for having my back. I don't take it for granted. All my friends and teammates, everyone who came out, supported me. I feel like I have the best group of people around me and I think that's why we've accomplished so much. So thank you. And then the fans, holy crap, from this, the leg injury all the way till now, to walking to the Boston TD Garden Arena as a New Yorker. I didn't know what to expect. That much time off, I wasn't sure if people really cared anymore, if I was relevant. To walk out and have everybody singing my song, Won't Back Down, and the place going crazy. People told me it was the, the loudest the arena was, it was when I was walking out and during my fight. I heard the chants, Weidman, you know, the Weidman chants my whole fight. I mean, it gave me such energy. So everybody who was in that arena that night and anybody around the world that was supporting me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was really cool. As far as what's next, I'm, I'm going to spend time with the family, hang out, let the body, you know, see where it's at. I have MRIs and x-rays that I've got done. I'm waiting on results. So hopefully no serious like ligament tears and stuff. I know UFC doc and 
people were saying that I have these tears, ligaments, and told Dana White that. I don't think that, but I should know soon. And I will let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. I will probably let you guys know what is going on with my legs on my next radio show on Monday. So I'll probably get the results in the next couple of days, MRIs and x-rays. Now on Monday on my radio shows on Sirius XM, Fight Nation Network, Channel 156. I'm also be on in podcast form on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get podcasts, won't back down radio. So make sure you check it out and stay tuned to my social media channels. Guys, thank you so much for the support. I know this is long, so if you got to this point, you're the man uh, or woman. And uh, I appreciate it. Take care.